Hello, everyone, and welcome to what will be our final video of our Minecraft, not Minecraft, of our Skyrim LP. And no, I'm not doing Minecraft. That is not a haha, I am doing Minecraft as the replacement. That is that is just not happening. I need to find a way out. Um, Lydia, you see that I'm walking this way. There were multiple doors. So I'm just seeing if maybe now we have like a way to get through through those doors? <laughs> Bent over backwards to get into the floor. <laughs> That's barred from the other side. This is a room. That doesn't help us. Oh, I could... Ah, here we go. Beautiful. Now we're back to Skyrim. I can turn in the quest. We can see if there's a quick one or something that we can do. We can work on that. We can talk about the game. And then we will, uh... We will adjourn. Um... So yeah, no, the, uh, the game is really fun. I can absolutely see why people, uh, will throw, you know, 400, 500 hours into the game or however long it takes to beat it. 100%. Let's see here. How long to beat Skyrim? Uh, well, for the main story, it's like 134 hours. <laughs> um, completionist is like 208, according to howlongtobeat.com. So, wait a minute. Where are, we, where are we going? Ah, the College of Winterhold. Yes. So, I mean, we put in 120 Hundred and thirty, maybe, because I, I don't remember what uh, what video this is. I think this is one hundred and ten. So one hundred and ten hours minimally, and I know some videos were like hour twenty, hour thirty, uh, and I I feel like we are nowhere near <laughs> completion. Like, if I had to guess, like, every quest that existed for completion, um, I would maybe guess we've done 30%, 40% if I'm being generous. We haven't, we haven't done any of the Silver War conflict. We are missing an entire DLC uh, that we have not done. Although we got, like, we got, like, really deep into uh, the the Dragonborn DLC and the Hearthfire DLC. Where am I going? I'm going up here. Like, I, I put in a lot more work into those than I initially thought that I would. <laughs> um... I mean, I had so much fun with the excavation and then, like, the whole eldritch horror type thing with Hamus Mora. Um, like, that was, <laughs> that was really fun. And, like, I knew of building a house, building a house uh, before we got in. Or at least, you know, owning a house in some sort of way. Um, and... Being able to, I don't think I knew about the like adopting children. Poorly, hundreds of years have gone into a sibling. Well, well, and you seem to be in one piece. Thank you. I'll look these over and inform Mirabel if I find anything relevant. Night of Tears, eh? 
I remember this one. Well, isn't that interesting? Did you read it yourself? If I recall it correctly, that has some interesting implications. You should mention that to Toldir. And here. I suppose you've earned these. Racial Phyology added. Daughter of the Nibbin added. Hearthfire Volume 9 added. Catalog of Weapon Enchantments added. Ooh, I might have to read that one. Barrow's Speech added. Black Arts on Trial added. Is that it? I'm going to read um, Catalog of Weapon Enchantments. I guess we've already read that. Daughter Nibbin, I guess we already read that. Just seeing if any of these will give me, like, a increase. Well, that weighs 20 pounds. That would be uh, something kind of nice to get out of our thing. Response to Barrow's speech, okay. Nice. We got an illusion increase. I will always take a stat increase if I can get it. But no, the being able to actually like sit down and play it, um, and, and playing it for the first time, like I've seen very small, like very small glimpses of the game. Obviously, you know. I knew dragons would be a thing. Uh, I knew buying houses would be a thing because that's, you know, the Elder Scrolls where you can buy houses. Good to see Skyrim. Did he now? Does he have information about our wonderful discovery? Is that the one about something buried beneath Sarthal? Something that men and mare fought over? I'll have to make a point of rereading it. I don't recall the details. I just can't seem to tear myself away. Whatever this is, its beauty is like nothing I've ever seen before. If you'd allow me to indulge myself for a moment, I thought I might make a few observations. I'm sure you've already noticed the markings. They're quite unlike anything we've seen before. Aliad, Remmer, Daedric, not even Farmer. None of them are a match. Quite curious indeed. Now, I'm not sure that you're quite as attuned as I am, given my extensive years of experience, but can you feel that? This marvelous object, it practically radiates magicka, and yet it's unlike anything I've felt before. Archmage Aran is already hard at work, and hopefully we'll have more information soon. I'm afraid I must no, I... It is urgent that I speak with your associate immediately. This is most inappropriate. We're involved in serious research here. Yes, I've no doubt of its gravity. This, however, is a matter that cannot wait. Well, I'm quite sure I've never been interrupted like this before. The audacity. I suppose we'll continue this at some later time, when we can avoid interruptions. I need you to come with me immediately. Let's go. Really? Well, allow me to clarify the situation. I'd like to know why there's someone claiming to be from the Sigic Order here in the college. More importantly, I'd like to know why he's asking for you specifically. So we're going to go have a little chat with him and find out exactly what it is he wants. What is the Sigic Order? <laughs> I'll be the one asking the questions. All you need to know is that the Sigic Order is a rogue organization, believing themselves to be above the law. They have clashed with the Old Mary Dominion before, and I have no intention of allowing that to happen here. Okay. Sure, I'll follow you. This seems like a quest that we could do. If you're working on any experiments, please clean up after yourself. But, I mean, I had a great time. Will I continue playing this in my own time? Now, Possibly. You are going to speak to this monk and find out why he is here, and then he will be removed from college grounds. Okay.
arc mage's quarters. Well, it, it's telling me go this way, so I'm gonna go this way. Um, more than likely, though, I will uh, start playing Skyrim on Twitch a little bit. Not dedicate my entire Twitch channel to it. Just you know, do some streams uh, occasionally for Skyrim. You know, maybe explore uh, the last DLC I never touched. Uh, explore a couple of more quests. Maybe actually get like into the Civil War conflict. I don't know. There's there's so much that we could. Do I keep going up? There's so much that we can do. Oh the oh, well, that's kind of annoying. <laughs> Why would they send me through the other door if I just needed to go to the Archmage's quarters? Like, come on now. Please do not be alarmed. I mean you no harm. What? What was that? Am I supposed to see spirits? It is good to meet you in person. Hi. I'd simply like to talk to you. I oh, did he freeze time? But I'm afraid I can't do this for long. We must be brief. Oh, that's cool. The situation here at your college is of dire importance. And attempts to contact you, as we have previously, have failed. I believe it is due to the very source of our concern. This object, the Eye of Magnus, as your people have taken to calling it. The energy coming from it has prevented us from reaching you with the visions you have already seen. The longer it remains here, the more dangerous the situation becomes. And so I have come here personally to tell you it must be dealt with. I'm afraid it's not that simple. You must understand the Sigic Order does not typically intervene directly in events. My presence here will be seen as an affront to some within the Order. As soon as we have finished, I will be leaving your college. I'm also aware that my arrival has aroused suspicion. Especially in Onkano, your Thalmor associate. Nevertheless, my order will not act directly. You must take it upon yourself to do so. I presume you refer to Onkano's distaste for the Sigic Order. The Thalmor see our order as a threat because we have power, and we will not allow them to control us. I assure you that we mean you no harm. As you may have learned, this object, the Eye, is immensely powerful. The world is not ready for it. If it remains here, it will be misused. Indeed, many in the Order believe it has already. Rather, something will happen soon, something that cannot be avoided. We believe that your efforts should be directed towards dealing with the aftermath, but we cannot predict what that will be. I fear I have already overstepped the bounds of my order, but I will offer this. Seek out the Augur of Dunlane here in your college. His perception may be more coherent than ours. He was once a student here at the college. Now he is... something different. I... I am unsure. He is somewhere within the college. Surely one of your colleagues must know his location. I am sorry I cannot provide you with further help, but this conversation requires a great deal of effort on my part. Now, I'm afraid I must leave you. We will continue to watch over you and guide you as best we can. It is within you to succeed. Never forget that. Yeah, that's not too much pressure. Pressure. I'm sorry. Were you about to say something? I'm... I'm not sure what happened. A monk from the Sigic Order. Here after all these years and then... He just leaves. I hope we didn't offend him somehow. 
Beyond asking for you, he never said. Very strange indeed. Has Tolfdir been telling stories again? I thought I made it quite clear that this was a subject inappropriate for conversation. Please, don't allow him to continue to discuss the subject. Uh, when? Well, until next what time. What is the meaning of this? I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't understand. Don't play mm. coy. You asked to see a specific member of the college. Here he is. Now what is it that you want? There's been a misunderstanding. Clearly, I should not be here. I shall simply take my leave. What? What trickery is this? You're not going anywhere until I find out what you're up to. I am not up to anything. I apologize if I have offended you in any way. We will see about this. What you learn here will last you a lifetime. Several, if you're talented. I have... The what? No, no, I'm quite sure I have no idea what you're talking about. I suggest you mind your own business and return to whatever it is you do here. I am an advisor to the Archmage. The Thalmor wished to... Eh, promote relations okay. With your well, that's kind of annoying. Uh, I guess I just go back down, but okay. Uh, do I want to continue this quest? Do I want to go home, spend time with my family? I haven't really spent time with my family. The wife and I have just been out adventuring for a long time. Like, I don't even remember where we got the second follower from. <laughs> Are you quite sure we need to be speaking? Like, they're currently digging rocks and they enter our house. Like, I, get, I have a home steward. I just don't remember how we got her. <laughs> this game, there, there's so much game to this game it's hard to remember when certain things happen what certain things happen like it's difficult Now it wants me, it what, wants me to go over here? The Hall of Attainment? You know what, sure. If you have a moment, could you help me with something? It's all, well now, there's a name I haven't heard in some time. My goodness, it's been years since I've spoken with him. I suppose he's still down in the midden, but I haven't checked. Are you going to see him? Do tell him hello for me, won't you? Underneath the college. It's not the nicest place. So if you go down there, please do be careful. Well, I suppose he wouldn't mind. It was all before my time, you understand. I've heard the stories, the, the same as anyone else. He was a brilliant student, an accomplished wizard, delved into magic in a way none had seen before. But I think he became too focused on just how much power he could acquire. That's what led to the accident. Until next time. Hmm. Move it. Thank you. Khajiit! Can you... Can you possibly help Jazargo? Jazargo has seen that Tolfdir likes you. You must be very skilled with magic, yeah? Yeah, uh, sort of. Jazargo is working hard, but cannot do it alone. Can you help with this? Jazargo has worked hard on learning new spells, trying new things. This will make Jazargo stand out as a mage. But Jazargo works so hard, there is no time to test these new spells. If you help with the testing, 
This will make learning easier. Jezargo will give you scrolls. You will use them and report the results. This is a good plan, no? You tell Jezargo when you are ready. Give me the scrolls. You can resist, can you? Let's see. This one, I think. Jezargo has designed it to be an excellent flame cloak with a twist. It is especially potent against the undead and should burn them to a crisp in no time. Cesargo gives you plenty of these scrolls, so you try them and return when you can say whether they work. Okay. Flame cloak scrolls in which we would have to use the scrolls on undead, in which that's trying to just find undead. There, there's so many caves that I could try going to that might have undead that might not have undead. <laughs> Uh, so, I mean, that's just an extra thing that I can have, uh, part of my quest inventory, then. Well, I got something else to do real quick. Hold on. If I touch, I can't touch you. Can I touch you? No. We still have a visit the College of Winterhold quest. Like, in our miscellaneous. And so I'm hoping maybe we can actually, like, activate it over here or something. No? Okay. Can I buy a house here? Obviously, the biggest house is going to be the Jarl's house. Here we go. Maybe I have to help more people within Winter uh, Winterhold. Oh yeah, we've done this a lot. My job. Thornyolf is convinced I've got some connections at the college. So he can see what they say. There was a dragon held captive right. in White Run. by the gods. Now. Legions, keep your guard up. You're not who I'm looking for. Lydia, move. Move. Thank you. Oh, the Earl's not here. Unless for some reason they're up here. Nope. All right. Well, do I dare sit in the Jarl's chair? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be really funny. Oh, no. People won't say it, Wait. But they're afraid of it. Oh, you literally just moved from one chair to another. You're uh, you're worthless. All right. Let let's go home. Spend time, spend some time with the kid. Maybe do a little bit of um house not preparation. Upgrading. Like, we could do that. Alright. Map. Scroll down. Yeah, like, I have, a, I have a feeling there's, like, a big... Like, quite a few item or, like, locations that are within this area here that we never even got to see. Uh, here's kind of got, you know, a little bit of space. Oh, same with, like, down here as well. Lost Valley Redoubt. Okay, I want... Guardian Stones. The Lady Stone. Yeah, we'll, ju we'll just go you. Oh, for some reason I thought... Our daughter was out here. Well, there's that person. I don't remember their name. Uh, I'm in combat? What? Why am I in combat? Oh. Who are you people?
Where are they? I am I am so confused. Are they up on my roof? How did they get up there? No, they're not on the roof. But I mean, they are somewhere. Oh, there you guys are. Wait. Wait. I am... I'm so lost. Where... Rhea can't find him. Are they in the house? They've got to be in the house. Un unless there's something that I'm just missing down here. Do I have a healing potion? Oh god, I hope I do. Oh, I do. Nice. Well, I can do that at least. That was great for, uh... Some stuff. But yeah, I don't... Uh, unless they're super underneath the house, which uh, I guess we just how's their tankard all the way down here? But look at the ants. <laughs> all right, we're gonna check inside the house. I really hope they're not inside the house. Well, that's a dwarven shield, huh? Where? What? Good riddance. I'll take the elven sword of blizzards. Yeah, I... He just, like, appeared out of nowhere. And so I am confused. You know what? Let's just go inside and just not deal with it. Okay, what do you want to play? Why why are you falling down the stairs? What do you want to play? Uh hide and seek. Okay. You stand right there and count to ten. No peeking. Okay. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Did she go outside? 
a little, a little shit. <laughs> All right, uh, it's time for us to part ways. I'll head back home if you need me. I do need you here. I want you to keep an eye on our daughter. The Cabin in the Woods. Great horror movie. Uh. Hello, my love. Back from some adventure, I guess. Oh, you sound so jealous. No, we're done. I'm gonna be a father now. That's still a quest. I don't know what quest item that is referring to, but sure. You know what? Boom. When did I pick up boots and clothes? Let's just get a little bit of extra weight to us just on the off chance. And then the weapon. Dwarven Dagger Debilitation. The Ebony Warhammer will give us quite a bit. And that gave us an extra 100 pounds to deal with. That's good. All right, let's go find our kid. <laughs> There's not that many places to hide here. Like, maybe if I was still living in... Dragon's Reach? No. What's the first city? <laughs> not Helgen. Um, the one with Breeze Home Manor. Oh, God, I can't remember. <laughs> it's the first big city you get to. Like, maybe if I was still living there, it would be harder because she could, like, she has the entire, like, city to hide in. Whereas here, not so much. That That's not a great hiding spot, hon. Wait, do I have an invisibility potion? Oh, wait, but I do have powers. No? Become ethereal. Ooh. I'm it. Where'd she find me? Also, oh, you're the bandit chief. Do I actually have something for her? I can give her an apple pie. Here you go. Thanks. No, no, no. Come on, my child. But I don't want to. Well, you have to. Yes, pa. Yes, pa. <laughs> How much wood do I have? 56. And I could use a wood chopping block, but I need a fire axe. Which we don't really need to do that for, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think there's much that we need to do. Uh, or that we would need firewood specifically for. I think there was one recipe that required firewood. But we don't need that. My child, how'd you do that? <laughs> Uh, 
All right, what do I still need to do here? Do I seriously have all of these? Mountain mud crab. And the, Okay, so that's it. We have completed that. So I could take out the... Um, building bench. Okay, she's sweeping up. Uh, there, oh, no, there is this one here, but that would get us a double bed, wouldn't it? Yeah. Don't particularly want to do that. Hello, my love. Hello, my love. Back from some adventure, I bet. I haven't seen your face in so long. <laughs> Stupid pot. Come here. There we go. That works. Uh, no, it looks like we're good there. There is no um, no workbench for up here. I don't think we have a workbench for that. Yeah, that was for this. So is it just downstairs now that we have? Like, there's no workbench here. Oh, no, there is a workbench here. What am I missing here? A chest. I could have swore I made a chest, but... How do I not have a workbench here? Okay. Well, knowing me... I'm going to want a lot of that. And maybe the large sack. What's in the large sack? Just sacks of flour. The satchel? Nope. Alright, we're going to go into the manor and we're going to see what we can build here. Or, not that we're not going to go in the manor. We're going to go in the basement of the manor. <laughs> The cellar. God, that <laughs> terrifies me every time I see it. Okay. I can make some barrels. Oh, wow. I really need to make, uh, like, nails and stuff because I don't have that many. Same with iron fittings, actually. Do I have a um, anvil down here? I don't. Unless it's in here. Have I put anything in this chest? No. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can put an anvil down here. Because that would save me time going back up to do all that. More workbench. Getting a smelter inside actually wouldn't be bad. All right, let's let's go up here, make ourselves iron fittings and nails and stuff, and we can uh, really like expand the basement because we haven't done that. <laughs> All right. Ooh, I can make bone mold. That's kind of cool. Still can't make the chitins. Although the chitin might actually be in the miscellaneous stuff. So hold on. Uh, wow, I really don't have that much iron, huh? I probably need to go outside and smelt, don't I? Unless I can make a smelter down here. I don't know if I have the right stuff for it, though. Hmm. 
Yeah, let's just make the smelter here. Boom. Is the smelter in this room? I'm still gonna need, like, iron fittings and stuff, but... I can at least smelt, like, maybe some more iron. Wow, we have so much weight that is just behind, uh, like, all of our miscellaneous stuff, it seems. Actually adding weight to myself. <laughs> Okay, so that gets me all of the ingots I could ever need. Uh, we do still need, like, iron fittings and stuff, but let's make a couple other items first, I guess. I'm going to activate the mannequin, put some stuff on there. All right. Miscellaneous. What do we got? Child's practice dummy. Yeah, that doesn't take much. Yeah, we'll do that. There we go. We get a child's practice dummy. Oh, with some amulets, I can end up making uh, some shrines. Ooh, we're going to do that. We're going to go up here and get some amulets. Hello, my child. Good. Sweep. Uh, I use this. I need building materials. <laughs> Just in case I need a lock and some hinges. I don't mind being so slow right now. Now with the child's practice dummy, can I tell her like, hey, go practice. <laughs> Go practice your dagger usage. Like, is that something I can do? Okay. Amulet. Because it should go amulet of blah, right? Yeah, okay, so an amulet of Mara, an amulet of Stender, amulet of Debella, amulet of Arcre, Julianos, Kinnereth, Akatosh, Hmm. That might be it for that. Do I not have the thing that I thought I had in here? I guess not. I thought I had, uh, like, some chitins of, um, like, Charis. But I guess not. Downstairs, please. Thank you. Alright, what else can I make?
why'd my shrine base go away? No, it's right there. There we go. Alright. So I can make... You. 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 And you. I can't get rid of the amulet of Talos, which kind of sucks, but... I only have two iron fittings left. I have many hinges that I don't need. I would need five locks for that. So I need more iron fittings than anything. Nice, I can have multiple shrines in my basement. That's really cool. All right, we're just gonna use... I wish I could have an anvil down there. Like, I didn't see one to be made. I need iron fittings. Yeah, we'll do that. I mean, if anything, we will get, um... Yeah, those cost iron ingots as well. That's really annoying. But I could make some elven weapons, which would be cool. I mean, we definitely probably want more wall sconces, is my guess. We're gonna enter, leave, enter. There we go. That uses an iron ingot. That doesn't use an iron ingot. So let's uh let's add that in, I guess. Those use iron ingots. That's annoying. Mm. This doesn't, so we'll get a second chest. How's this look? I mean, it's definitely looking a lot better. Why do I just have skulls in my basement? That does not make me feel great. I don't have large antlers. Re oh, because those would be used for... Um... Oh. Well, you know what? Use the last iron fittings for that. Make some mead barrels. Make that. I have one iron ingot left. Let's do this and this. There we go. That's some nice color. Look at this. Now we have all of these various uh, shrines that we could worship. That's so cool. Then in here, it looks like we got... Yeah, we got our smelter, which is nice. I could start putting, like, stuff down here. We got a workman's bench. Uh, I mean, I can't put everything down here because I would still need... Um, or no, really, it's only iron that I would need to use up there. Mm, no, I'm wrong. But, I mean, I should be able to... What, if I were to go to this, right? Oh, that's to, that's to, like, improve something. That's to improve a weapon. That's to... This is to do what, again? Oh, cut things down into, um... Cut things down into leather, that's right. It's like we have iron ore, quicksilver ore, corundum, and iron ore. What do we got down here? That's an end table that I could put stuff into. I mean, the basement definitely came out a lot better. Because I usually, like, forget about the basement when I <laughs> come back home. So, I mean, this is really nice. Ooh, a taproot there. I kind of want to get those skulls out of there. 
But there, now we have a more complete ba uh, basement. It might not be the best to have a smelter down there. You know, the CO2, all of that. <laughs> but now we have a place where the child can practice her sword fighting. So that she one day, she one day can end up uh, defending the house. Even though she's been living here essentially alone for like four months. Or something dumb like that. All right, let's uh, drop off some stuff into here just to maybe. Oh, I do have the Char's Chittens, but they I guess they don't go into like. Um, what am I thinking? Uh, into armor, like I thought. I have a lot of, uh, lot of like stuff that can make leather. Look at that! That just dropped us so many. I have so many dwarven ingots. Holy crap! Seven pounds in garnet. That's insane. 53 gold ingot. How many other ingots am I carrying? That is so many greater soul gems that we just have filled. The horker tusks. 79 leather. So that's 150 pounds there. It's 20 pounds just in leather strips. Yep, put the nails away, the malachite ore, the netched leather, ori calcum ingot is 31 pounds. Cord stone is 67. Roasted is, oh, that's not considered food. Really? That's annoying. And there we go. Now we can move around again freely. Very nice. Where's our daughter? I want to tell her to go practice her sword play, if possible. She Is she in here? No, she's not. Where are my wife and kids? <laughs> Oh, but there is small antlers, so I could end up making that thing. Are they upstairs for some reason? Nope, not the, not here. I just dropped our uh, dropped our ball. Nope, they seem to have uh, disappeared. Wait, what's in here? Nothing. Are they out on the balcony? Well, there's a cray. Honor to you, my thing. Well, thank you. But where's my wife and kid? <laughs> Where are they? Oh, I can grow stuff? That's actually pretty cool. Oh, I could grow Jazz Bay grapes. Oh, why didn't I think about doing this before? I'm a potato. <laughs> like, being able to grow the grapes rather than try and find them. Oh, that's so much smarter. Did they go to the market? I'm going to guess they went to the market because I didn't see the kid in the bedroom. I don't see her here. That's just our person, unless they're down by 
um, the shrine or the lake, but they're not by the shrine. And I don't see them by the lake. But that's fine. I'm sure they're safe. Plus, you know, it's it's Lydia. She will kick everyone's butts. But I think uh, I think that's good. I think we can quote unquote we can retire with this. Um, we did quite a bit of stuff. Quite uh, quite a few many quests. I thought for some reason that was like a different type of grass that we could actually like pick. Um, there are always going to be more quests to do in these games, but that's why I never uh, like complete them, especially in an LP because so many quests that can end up being um, failed because you did a different quest beforehand and it's, it's a whole thing. That's just, that is gorgeous. That is, that there is just a gorgeous shot. Uh, but yeah, I'm happy with how this went. I'm happy with everything we did. Uh, and the support that you guys have given to this project has been outstanding. Uh, so I want to thank you all for sticking with it for 110 ish hours of Skyrim where we have enjoyed ourselves. We have died plenty of times, but we have done some awesome things as well. Uh, we still have crash bandicoot and Spyro still going on. So continue to look forward for those. Uh, we will also have something that will replace this as the LP as well. Uh, if you're still here, make sure to check the links in the description below where you can find uh, the Twitch channel where I do uh, live streaming usually at least twice a week, sometimes three or four, uh, and the Discord, which I am very active on, and you would be able to uh, you know, communicate with me there. Because I have been a little uh, lackluster in the replying of comments because it's just, there, there's a lot of comments and I work my full-time job and then I do like multiple side things. And so <laughs> it's hard to reply to comments when you have to record, stream, work, 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 and you know, everything else. But with this gorgeous view that is just right down the backyard of the house. I want to thank you all for being here. I appreciate it. And I will see you for whatever our next LP is going to be.